Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch of Marketplace. So when people talk about net neutrality, they're talking about the idea that all data transmitted across the internet should be treated equally or neutrally. In other words, everything should pretty much move at the same speed. It's kind of like what it used to be like in airport security back in the day. You may not remember this, but everybody used to stand in the same line, regardless of whether they had a first class ticket or a business class ticket, or if they were back in the rear with the gear, everybody was in the same queue. And the only special exceptions to this were people like emergency services. Now, that meant, of course, that everybody moved through the system at the same pace. And that's really the very essence of net neutrality, regardless of what it is that you're sending or receiving. If it's a streaming movie or you're sending a text or a selfie or whatever, everything should move at the same pace. Now, the cable companies would like to change that. All right, they point out that they lay a lot of the infrastructure of the internet these days, and they're right. You know, they put down those pipes and those cables, and they say that they should be allowed to charge more if people want to actually move their data through the system more quickly. In other words, they want to create like the airport security of today, where you've got all these people who can get into a fast lane by buying TSA Pre or buying a first or business class ticket, which effectively allows you to vault to the front of the line. And we all know what it's like to stand in that economy class lane when all these people are walking past us and our lane is getting slower and slower and slower. Anyway, proponents of net neutrality say that the cable companies aren't actually doing anything new here. They're just adding on to an existing network that's been around for a long time. Like, okay, so you're putting a, a fast lane in an airport security, but you didn't like build airport security. You didn't build the airport. That stuff was already there. They argue that the cable companies should adhere to the original ruling laid down by the government on the communications network, which is that everybody should be able to use it fairly and freely without discrimination or prejudice. They also point out that the internet has created this kind of equality of opportunity for innovators. It's been this cradle of innovation, this engine of growth in the American economy. And if we went to a system like this where you had this fast lane, well, it could undermine that, and that could leave us very badly needing a drink.